okay, so I'm still playing with figuring out kind of what I'm doing with this space and how I'm fitting receptionists and all that. So at this stage, a lot of folks are trying to kind of plan out, you know, where furniture is going, how big things are, what the scale is. So this is a good stage to start bringing in furniture, particularly for the folks in your main offices. So in my case, this is like one designer, this is the other designer. This is probably going to be the accountant, but I want to make sure they have enough room. So I'm encouraging everybody to kind of figure out these big offices first and these big spaces and then figure out accountant and maybe like if this is my meeting room, bring in a table, make sure it's big enough. So uh, what I'm kind of encouraging everybody to do is uh, you're just starting to learn office design with Anthony. So I want you to go ahead and start kind of using preset layouts, but you can obviously edit them all you want. Um, so we're here in our Moodle for this class. So if you just kind of keep scrolling down and you want to be in project one. And so I've already kind of told you roughly what size is, but now we want to get some layouts of offices. Um, so you want to go here. This is another thing we talked about in class two. This is um, similar to SketchUp Warehouse where there's this big giant library of other 3D Revit um, families to load in. These are all made by real world companies. So you might be limited to how much you can edit them, but they are all going to be correct to real world sizes and shapes. Unlike somehow SketchUp, sometimes SketchUp has like, you know, things made by folks just for fun. And they're not always, you know, correct. Um, Steelcase, we're going to go to this one and look at it. So Steelcase is a company that uh, does a lot of office furniture. Uh, Lynn Anthony and I encourage you to use these folks um, for starting to learn Revit because um, they come in with all the pieces together. So for example, if you were to order a desk in the real world, you're ordering the legs separately and the top separately. And sometimes Revit will uh, give you all those pieces separately, which is a pain in the butt. Whereas Steelcase here, they have already kind of these nice layouts that they're already kind of figuring out for you. Um, as I told students, you can you can kind of sort through this. Uh, you could be here all day looking at these because let me see how many pages they are. It keeps going. There's like five pages, I think even more of all these lovely little layouts. Um, but what you can start with is we're not designing a cafe yet or a classroom. Focus rooms or meeting rooms, like these kind of meeting room spaces, but look, there's like a 400 of them. Um, we click, there's 99 private offices. So go ahead and click on that one. And then you can also say what the footprint of your room is. Now, some of these are kind of small, but you have a lot of space. So I would say, don't worry about it. Capacity, uh, you might have one person or some of you actually are designing offices where the, the spouses are working together in the same space. So you might cut down time and use that. Um, so you can go ahead and click that. Um, I'm just going to kind of randomly open one. And in doing so, I'm going to show you kind of where we get the glass walls from. All right. So this guy's a good one. So we're going to click this. I'm going to click on it first just to see it um, bigger. So don't click download just yet. I'm going to just click on that room, take a look at it, see what it looks like. Um, it's going to take a second to load. But yeah, that's a nice office. They have a chair. They have two guest chairs. It's going to come in actually with a lot of these cute little accessories. So you're welcome to use them at this point. So to download it, um, we're gonna go over here, download right there. Um, it's gonna give you options. Cause again, Steelcase is really nice with this where we have 2D uh, 2D uh, ones that we, you know, we were doing houses last time, so we didn't need this. But for Anthony's class, you might be able to use this. There's 3D for CAD. So these first two are CAD, then there's SketchUp, now there's Revit. So we're gonna click on the Revit one. Um, and for a lot of you, these are going to be zipped. Mine actually is not zipped. So pay attention as it's downloading if it's a zip file, because then you're going to have to unzip it and extract it. I can show you how to do that if you need help with it. But right now, right there it is. I'm going to say show in folder. And then I'm going to double click it and open it up. And it's going to basically open up a new window, kind of the next to mine. So guests go ahead and say upgrade. Um, they usually don't take very long. I mean, some of these are going to be really big, but this guy isn't too bad. Um, it'll pop up in just a second. Down here, there's like 13%. So I'll pause. Okay, so here we are. This is showing us the level one of this model. We can also go look at it in 3D. So it's just that this is the file right here. So I'll say 3D. You can see it here. So this is the where we find the really sweet set of glass interior walls. So I will show you how to use that in just a second. But this model right now, here's its 3D view, here's its level view. So if I wanna bring this into my project, um, I can first kind of take out the floor here. That's just kind of their their setup of how they can help everything. Um, oh wait, hold on, we'll say, apparently it doesn't like that. So we're gonna leave that there for now. 
And sometimes you're going to get these weird warnings. We're going to copy. So take everything. Do control C, copy. I think, did I get it? Let's see. Let me make sure again. Control C. Okay. Then we're. I'm going to go over to this level one. This is my model now, my own project. And then I'm going to paste it in here. So I'm just going to do control V to paste. I put it somewhere way over here on the right. You're going to bring in a lot of stuff. Ignore this for now. This means that over in the file that we're looking at, they already had materials linked to this. We don't have that yet. We haven't, we're going to go over that together. But don't worry about it at this stage. Say, okay. And then we're going to put it over here somewhere to the right. And it's going to take up a little bit. Cause again, this, there's a lot going on in this model with all these cute little accessories. This is where you might want to strip out those cute little accessories at this point too. So let's see, give it a second. I'm going to pause. Okay, so here it is way over here. Um, this flooring information, I can go ahead and delete that now. It might still give me a little error, but we don't we don't need it or want it. Um, yeah, it's okay then. It's, so it's came a little warning, but that's all right. All right, so if we go into here, so for example, if I want to use this like chair desk combo, I'm just going to kind of click like that, go control C, and then I'll bring it over to say my folks over, actually I'll bring it to my account. Um, and then see, it's got a nice little box to show me how wide it is. And there it is. And this is grouped together, like, you know, how SketchUp, we can put things into groups. These are currently all kind of connected together. So I can kind of play with where I put this person, maybe over here by the wall. So I'm just using the little arrows on my keyboard again. Uh, one thing we want to pay attention to is give behind them about three feet. Because again, you want to be able to roll your chair out, comfortably get out. So I might check what the math is on that. Uh, let's see if I can get... We'll play with that in a minute. That's annotation. So I'll teach you all that too. But there's a dimension tool for that. Uh, let's do, I'll just show you right now. So if we're going to go for this wall and linear, oh, it's a line. Sorry, it's that one. And then to here is, oh, wait, we'll go from here to here. There we go. Three feet. The three feet is in the middle of that wall. So let me just hit that tab. And then it'll let me kind of get onto another wall there. Tab, tab, tab. I will right, we'll play with that a little bit, but right now they're good. They're over three feet because I know that five, five inches is the wall. All right. So you're going to play with this kind of setup here. Um, but the nice thing is with the glass wall. So if we go back over here, here's all the glass wall system. So let me take this guy here. So we're going to take control C. I might want some glass walls down here. So I'm going to say control V. Again, it's kind of showing me how wide it is. Um, I can now use my little arrows and nudge it up there. But the nice thing is with some of these pieces is all right you can't really stretch the door because the door is set in what size it is but i could stretch this part here and say i'd like this whole wall to go down here and it just lets me do it it's so much nicer and easier than the systems that revit has that you have to do from scratch so i was kind of advising folks let me kind of go back over here that as you're looking through these these models here on steel case keep an eye out for some nice systems that are glass. So if, again, about half the class really wants to do glass, which is great. I'm glad you're all curious and excited about it. So I would suggest getting pieces from here. So like I said, some people really like the style of this. You're going to, as you scroll through, you're going to see there's different styles to their system. So these are sold almost like furniture, but look for ones that clearly have doors. These guys, I think most of them are sliding doors. Uh, this even has a door on it too. If we go back to my model, I'll show you kind of in the view what it looks like. So again, view, 3D views, camera. We'll kind of go from this corner, swish it through there. And there you can see there's my little door. It's got a little handle on it and everything. Um, but like I said, this guy, the door itself, you're not really going to be able to edit. But the wall systems are really um, nice and adaptable. Like they play nice with this. Um, it's coming in at a logical height. Again, these guys are eight and a half feet tall, which makes sense because when we put in our ceiling, that's roughly where our ceiling is going to hit. So uh, that's a good spot and height to be at. All right. So I'm going to share this with everybody because uh, folks, not everybody in class got to play with this. So we're going to work on this a lot more on Monday together. And we're going to start bringing in a lot more furniture. But again, for everyone's kind of sanity, I would suggest we're going to start with steel case because they already have a lot of nice office layouts and you're still learning all of that from Anthony and you can kind of shop in here and find some, you know, really nice pieces. And also again, some nice wall systems that are uh, very user-friendly. 
All right. And again, um, feel free to kind of reach out to me once you're back on campus or anybody else too. And happy to help uh, kind of learn, you know, you're going to learn a lot of this as we go. And that's kind of organically how a lot of folks learn Revit. You're going to jump around a lot of you and that's fine. So I'm happy to kind of teach you as you go and sort of show you more tricks too. All right. Have a good weekend too.